Let's take you out of this world now. It's probably cooler up in space. Today marks one year since the release of the first set of breathtaking images from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. Did you know Arizona played a key role in making these photos possible? Yeah, its infrared cameras were designed and developed at the University of Arizona. The images captured millions of miles from Earth have already revolutionized astronomy. A pretty incredible stuff. So here to celebrate this and show us all these really cool things and talking about what's next is NASA experts Mike Menzel. Thank you so much for joining us this morning on Good Morning Arizona. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. I love when these photos come out. It's like a, a photo dump every time when we see these new things. Tell us what is the newest image to come out today and what does it show us? The image is of a, a star forming region, the closest star forming region to our own sun in our Milky Way. It's called Roa Fucae. And it's a region where gas and dust are actually falling in on themselves, condensing and uh, giving birth to new stars. There's about 50 new stars in that cloud of gas. And uh, we believe that this, uh, we're watching the same processes that gave birth to our sun about four and a half billion years ago. Wow, that is incredible to be able to see all that. How does Webb work with other telescopes to give us a more complete view of the universe? Well, the James Webb telescope is designed to see the light in the infrared. That's the light your, your eyes can't see, but we can feel as heat. Uh, previous telescopes like the Hubble see the universe in visible light, the same light that our eye sees. So by seeing the universe and by looking in the different colors in the different regions of the spectrum, we see more phenomena. We get a more complete view. We see things that are invisible in certain wavelengths. For instance, if you took a visible picture of the planet Neptune, you would barely see that it has rings. Their rings are actually kind of pathetic looking in the visible. Hmm. But when you look at Neptune in the infrared, bang, those rings pop out as uh, beautifully vivid and beautifully visible. So looking at different wavelengths gives a more complete picture of our universe and the processes in it. Wow. So what are some of your favorite findings so far? Well, I'm an engineer. I'm not a scientist, but I've been an engineer on this job for 26 years. And uh, we had designed James Webb to see the very first galaxies that turned on in the universe. So my favorite image was the deep field, the one that, uh, uh, showed the deepest galaxies. Now, we, uh, the Hubble took an image very similar to that, but Hubble took 14 days to take its image. James Webb took its image in 12 hours, and in 12 hours, we broke Hubble's record. So as an engineer, when I saw it, I was very, very excited. It was a special moment for me because I realized that, you know, we had designed James Webb to see the first stars that turned on in our universe i turned to a colleague and i said hey we did it what, what what's ever out there we're going to see it wow i mean the images are absolutely incredible uh any little green men <laughs> none that i can report yeah all right well thank you so much where can viewers keep up with uh, all of that uh, is coming up with all these yeah you could go to our, our site uh, jwst.nasa.gov or you can go see us on social media at NASA Web. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Mike. Appreciate your time. And also, uh, these incredible images are really cool to look at. My I pleasure. Thank you.